Welcome to the Cryptids slash Weird Creatures Iceberg. Covering this iceberg with me today is Gravity PSI, who you probably know from his creepypasta about the Heaven Stairway incident, which blew up a little while ago. Today, we're joining forces and covering this fascinating iceberg. And if you don't know what a cryptid is, let me just tell you real quick. Cryptids are creatures that have been claimed to exist, but have never been proven to exist. Some good examples are Sasquatch and the Loch Ness Monster. Cryptids don't need to be mythical or paranormal in nature. It's a really cool topic, and I'm excited to talk about them. Alright, Gravity, take it away. Level 1. The Flatwoods Monster. The Flatwoods Monster is a creature that was originally spotted in Braxton County, West Virginia, in 1952. The creature was seen after a blue light streaked across the sky, landing in a farm, causing several of the town's folk to go investigate. A man named Eugene Lemon said that when the crowd arrived, they saw a large humanoid figure step out of the rubble with a red, pulsating light and a large, pointed hood. Later on, investigators claimed that the light was actually a meteor and the creature was just a barn owl. How this creature can be confused for a barn owl is beyond me. Loch Ness slash Lake Champlain Monster The Loch Ness Monster is a supposed creature that lurks in the murky depths of the Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands. Its origins date back to 565, where an Irish monk named St. Columba talked to some people who claimed that a man who was swimming in the loch was attacked by a water beast and mauled to death. Columba had a man swim out to the loch to see if there really was a beast. As the man was swimming, the beast began to swim towards him until St. Columba made the sign of a cross and said, Go no further. Do not touch the man. Go back at once. The beast then disappeared. The Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie, has been described as looking like an Elasmosaurus or a Plesiosaurus. In 1934, Robert Kenneth Wilson took this famous photograph of the creature, but modern scholars consider this photograph a fake. Despite modern technology and sonar technology, no legitimate evidence of Nessie's existence has come up. The Lake Champlain monster is basically the exact same creature, the only difference being is that it is located in Lake Champlain, Vermont. Mothman The Mothman is a legendary creature that was first spotted in the Point Pleasant area of West Virginia in 1966. Mothman has been described as being a large, black-winged creature with glowing red eyes. Local residents would see him fly towards their cars and try to attack other people. Many have tried to explain what the Mothman is. Some claim it's an alien, others a fallen angel, and perhaps it's just a giant mutated moth. Some people have even claimed that there are paranormal connections to the Mothman. An example would be people claiming the Mothman to be an omen. Residents in the Point Pleasant area had claimed to have seen Mothman sitting on top of the Silver Bridge. When Mothman disappeared in 1967, the Silver Bridge would collapse, killing 46 people. Living Tasmanian Thalassine The Tasmanian Thalassine, or simply the Tasmanian Tiger, is a now extinct animal that was located on the Australian mainland as well as the Tasmanian Islands. Excessive hunting and destruction of their habitat caused them to go extinct in 1936. However, from 1938 until 1998, many reports of the Tasmanian Tigers would come from the southern Victoria area. Many have moved on and accepted their extinction, but cryptozoologists to this day still claim that there are a few alive. If a bird can unextinct itself, then perhaps this specimen can. Cryptid Apes This entry basically talks about the many apes throughout cryptozoology. The apes include Bigfoot, Yeti, Skunk Ape, Almas, Honey Island Swamp Monster, and Deloy's Ape. Ningen The Ningen is a supposed 20 to 30 meter creature that dwells in the icy depths of the Antarctic Sea. Although its first sightings were recorded during ancient Japan, it apparently still lives on in modern times. It became well known to the public when a forum on the site known as 2chan claimed that government operating whaling ships spotted this humanoid creature swimming around in the area. 2004 Ivory Billed Woodpecker Sighting The Ivory Billed Woodpecker is a now extinct species of woodpecker, but was apparently spotted in 2004. That's right, this cryptid is actually critically endangered, but not extinct. But, there are also many articles that claim that it is indeed extinct. So, 
This entry here is quite conflicting. Either it's extinct or it's not. It depends on who you ask and who you believe. The Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil is a creature that lives in the Pine Barrens in southern Jersey. It has been described as having a horse's head, horns, wings, goat legs, and a forked tail. According to its origin, the Jersey Devil is the 13th child of Mother Leeds. Mother Leeds claimed that if she were to give birth to a 13th child, then that child would be the Devil himself. On a stormy night, the child would be born human, but would rapidly change into a hard creature. It lashed out of the residence in the Leeds house before flying through the fireplace and out the chimney. Since then, there have been hundreds of sightings of the devil out in the woods, and even a movie about a group of reporters going missing hunting down the beast. The Bloop The Bloop is an ultra-low frequency detected by the NOAA in 1997 in the Pacific Ocean. Scientifically, it has been speculated as being either icebergs crashing into each other and breaking apart, or ice quakes. But, many people claim that the sound was created by an animal, meaning that whatever made this sound would have to be the largest animal ever recorded living in the deepest part of the ocean. 52 Hertz Whale The 52 Hertz Whale is an unknown species of whale that continuously calls out to other whales at an unusually high frequency of 52 Hertz. Blue whales, the largest whales on Earth, use calls that go from 10 to 32 hertz. It was first discovered in 1989 and heard again in 1990 and 1991. Since 2014, the whale has been detected every year, and it is assumed that it is the only whale out in the ocean that uses 52 hertz calls and has been dubbed the world's loneliest whale. Living Megalodon the Megalodon was a giant shark that existed 200 million years ago, but went extinct 2.6 million years ago, when the planet began to go into the Ice Age. Despite this, many people believe that the Megalodon still exists, and avoided extinction by living near thermal vents deep in the ocean. According to some, Megalodons have even been spotted swimming far out to the middle of the ocean, and some have been photographed. An article about how a supposed megalodon was approaching a boat off the coast of New England. Chupacabra The Chupacabra is a Hispanic cryptid that is described as either being a hairless dog with a row of spikes on its back, red eyes and fangs, or a lizard-looking creature. Its name literally means goat sucker, as it has been seen sucking the blood from the necks of goats. The first well-known sighting was in 1995 in Puerto Rico, when eight sheep were found dead, all having two puncture wounds on the side of their necks. Sightings of the Chupacabra have come from Hispanic territories, but have been found as far south as Chile and as far north as Maine. Phantom British Big Cats these creatures are described as being panthers, leopards, and other big cats that are found way outside of their natural habitat. This entry can be explained as people bringing these big cats back to their home after visiting their natural habitats. Living Non-Avian Dinosaurs This entry refers to the belief that non-flying dinosaurs are still alive and manage to avoid death by living closer to the core of the earth. Mongolian Death Worm the Mongolian death worm is a creature that lives beneath the sands of the Gobi Desert. The worm, as described in Roy Chapman Andrews' book, On the Trail of Ancient Man, states that it has no head, is two feet long, and is so poisonous that touching it means instant death. Some scholars have said that there is no worm, since it's too hot in the Gobi Desert for a worm to live, but rather a tartar sand boa, which does live there. The Mongolian death worm has also been stated to be the main inspiration for the famous movie monster, the Graboids, from the Tremors movie series. Zayumaru carcass and other globsters. In the year 1977 off the coast of New Zealand, a Japanese fishing boat by the name of Zuyumaru brought this mysterious carcass onto one of its nets. Weighing over 4,000 pounds and spanning over 32 feet, the creature was in terrible shape. Its internal organs were gone and the majority of the flesh was just rotting and melting away. Obviously, the crew were shocked by this creature since it highly resembles a prehistoric dinosaur known as a plesiosaur. The captain told the crew to throw the creature back into the sea and just abandon it. The reason for this is unknown. 
the crew was able to get some samples of its tissue and got them sent back into testing. Uh, turns out the DNA matched up with that of a giant basking shark. Some people think that these DNA results were faked as a cover-up because, I mean, look at this thing. It doesn't look like much of a shark to me. Globsters are also pretty interesting. They're pretty much unidentified organic masses that wash up on shore and utterly confuse everyone who comes across them since they rarely resemble any animals that we know to exist. These rotting, hairy blobs will just wash up in the ocean shore and just disgust everyone around them. They're kind of creepy in a way, so much to the point where there's actually an enemy in Resident Evil named after them. But you might be wondering, what are they? Well, as far as we know, they're the rotting remains of giant squids, whales, and sharks. That's it. The carcasses just travel through the ocean, which is what gives them this hairy-looking, glob-like exterior. Hopkinsville Goblins Otherwise known as the Hopkinsville Goblins case was an alleged encounter with actual aliens. In fact, it's actually one of the most well-documented cases in alien encounter history. On August 21st, 1955, a family frantically arrived at the Hopkinsville police station claiming that they had been attacked by aliens and were holding them off with gunfire for hours. The adults claimed that they had been shooting at 12 to 15 little dark characters who repeatedly popped up at the doorway or peered through windows. The police thought this was actually just a gunfight between civilians so they went to go check it out and found nothing that would suggest that. Only evidence of gunfire and bullet holes through the windows and walls, but no bodies or anything like that. The claims of the family received widespread recognition in local alongside national news. Through all this, like a game of telephone, details of the creatures were added, such as large pointed ears, claw-like hands, and eyes that glowed, and spindly little legs. These sort of traits later appeared in various media to represent aliens. But what actually happened here? Well, we don't really know. The family actually moved out of the house after claiming that the aliens had returned, and they never admitted to it being a fraud or anything along those lines. So. People thought that they could have been intoxicated or were just seeing owls that were landing around them, but there weren't any owl carcasses mentioned by the police. The amount of effort and property damage it would take to just fire hundreds of bullets into nothing makes no sense to me. There were witnesses to this as well, which just further adds to it. Honestly, I would love to believe that, yeah, aliens attacked this little southern family and just flew away afterwards, because if you couldn't tell, um, I like aliens. Uh, but honestly, I don't have a great way of fully explaining this, interestingly enough. Nandi Bear, otherwise known as Chemosid, is a creature from East African folklore. These creatures are often described as shaggy, sloped-back predators that somewhat resemble a hyena. Witnesses vary since it's sort of a tribe-to-tribe -tribe thing, so some tribes claim that it looks like a monkey, but most agree with the hyena description. The earliest known sighting of the Nandi Bear was in 1905. Sightings continued into the 20th century, and in around 1914, one was reported to have been killed near Kapsawar after killing several villagers. Another example of a man-eating Nandi Bear struck in the same year in an unnamed Kenyan village, where allegedly killed a six-year-old girl. Here's the thing. The Nandi Bear is likely just a mix of a bunch of different animals being reported by different explorers and native tribes, so for most of them, they probably just saw large hyenas with overgrown hair or something along those lines. Still a pretty fascinating case. Cadborosaurus, otherwise known as Caddy, is an alleged sea serpent found near Cadboro Bay. The Caddy is known widely for a picture showing the remains of the creature. This image alone is pretty unsettling and is definitely very fascinating, but is it true or just a fake? There have allegedly been sightings dating back to centuries, so there's a lot of people who claim to have seen this creature, even into very modern times, but it's basically only first-hand accounts. But here's the thing. There have been sightings of the Caddy who have been identified, in 1943, a sighting was identified as a sea lion. Later, another was identified as a massive oarfish. Another was identified as a basking shark, which actually ties into the first entry I covered. Something that the Ziumeu carcass was actually a Cadborosaurus, but of course, it was just a basking shark. But here's the thing. To me, it's not too unrealistic to think that a sea serpent would exist in the modern day. It's just hard to identify on account of the fact that it might just hide in places where we don't know where to find. Trunko. Trunko was one of many globsters that were mentioned earlier. Trunko has been described as a fish like a polar bear. The cryptid was reputably seen off the coast battling two killer whales, which fought the unusual creature for three hours. It used its tail to attack the whales and reportedly lifted itself out of the water by 20 feet. Trunko allegedly washed up on Margate Beach, but was never investigated by scientists for whatever reason. So yeah, is Trunko an actual creature? Well, I personally don't know. The carcass that washed up could just be covered in some sort of rot and seaweed or something like that, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. In fact, I would love to hear all of your opinions down below since this is such an interesting topic, and I'm talking about all of these cryptids. Cape York Thylacines This entry is referring to some sightings of Tasmanian tigers who have been thought to be dead for the past 80 years. 
people have been claiming to see these creatures again in Cape York, which is why it's here. Beebs abyssal fishes. The word fishes indicates a different species in biology, different from just the plural of fish, it's a different type of species. Um, 1932, a Bermuda-based zoologist, Dr. William Beeb, was on a deep-sea expedition when 2100 feet beneath the surface, two very unusual fishes became illuminated in the craft's electric beam of light as they swam past it. These creatures were reminiscent of barracudas, but were different. I feel like this one doesn't need too much of an explanation. The amount of life that's just undiscovered in the ocean is insane, so it's very likely that Beeb just found some undiscovered creatures, and, well, that's all. Minhakao. This entry is referring to a massive creature that reportedly resembles a giant worm with scaly black skin and a readily visible mouth with a pair of tentacle-like structures protruding from its head. Allegedly, this worm burrows into the ground and leaves massive sinkholes wherever it burrows. There have been cases of houses and other man-made structures collapsing and rivers having their courses altered allegedly due to the Minha cow's burrowing activity. Cryptozoologist Carl Schuker has suggested that this animal may be an example of a giant caecilian which are real creatures. They just aren't giant. Honestly, for whatever reason, I think that the concept of a giant worm is kind of cool and just reminds me of that Spongebob episode, but I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Sham Burke's Deer So the Sham Burke's Deer is an extinct breed of deer that has thought to have been extinct by 1938. However, in February of 1991, a pair of this animal's antlers were found in a Loatian medicine shop. The owner claimed that the antlers belonged to one of these deer that was killed only a year prior in a nearby district. Orang Pendek in Indonesian folklore, the Orang Pendek is the most common name given to a creature said to inhabit remote mountainous forests on the island of Sumatra. The animal has allegedly been seen and documented for the last hundred years by forest tribes, local villagers, and explorers. The animal is one that looks like a primate, but in a way that looks weirdly human, in ways that other monkeys don't. Local Indonesians claim that the Orang Pendek is an herbivore, for the most part, and specifically enjoys the durian fruit. Some people think that this creature is the missing link between humans and monkeys. Honestly, this creature is pretty fascinating, to me it's totally possible that it's real. The Kating Vor The Kating Vor, or snake-eating cow, is a cow-like creature that allegedly exists in Cambodia and Vietnam. There's a set of horns that allegedly belong to this creature, but not much else is known about them. Paleodictyon The Paleodictyon nodosum is a very mysterious creature that is known to live beneath the ocean floor. It's known for its bizarre fossils that it left behind. Some samples date all the way back to millions of years ago, while others were found as recently as the 1970s. The strange honeycomb-like look of these fossils have perplexed people for years, and we still don't know exactly what's up with them. Caribbean Macaw The Caribbean Macaw is an extinct species of parrot that was thought to exist in the Caribbean. Well, obviously. The only proof we have of these birds' existence is just some physical remains, and some think that these birds still exist, but they're just majorly endangered. But those claims are unconfirmed. The U-28 Creature Alright, so the U-28 creature is not the name of an individual monster, but instead the name given to a single sighting of a sea monster. So, this allegedly happened near the start of World War I, during a battle between two ships, one of which was the U-Boat 28. The sinking of the ship would be completely unremarkable if not for an article written by the captain of the U-28, which was written for a German newspaper. A part of the ship was sinking, and now while this was happening, that part exploded which threw this mysterious sea creature right out of the ocean. The crocodile-like creature was somewhere around 65 feet long and was visible for around 10 to 15 seconds. Some investigators think that this sighting could be evidence of a thought to be extinct Peleosaur or Mosasaur, which would be pretty incredible. The fossils of these creatures line up with the captain's encounter, and there's no way we can confirm or deny this, however, on account of the fact that everyone on the ship is, well, long dead and gone. Alvin Plesiosaur Alright, so here's yet another sea monster. While on a submarine known as the Alvin, Captain Marvin McCamus claimed to have seen an animal which looked like a plesiosaur in the deep waters. This allegedly happened in 1965, so no hardcore proof of it exists, but the captain swears that it was real. Stellar Sea Ape Stellar Sea Ape was a strange cryptid first encountered in 1741, and ever since its identity has remained a mystery. But just what is this creature? Well, from first-hand accounts, we know it's a hairy sea creature, somewhat reminiscent of a seal or something along those lines, but somewhat monkey-like in a way. We don't know much else. <laughs> Penascola Sea Serpent Alright, so this one's pretty interesting. So the Penascola Sea Serpent was a creature allegedly encountered in 1962, where it supposedly killed four teenagers. Now that's pretty fascinating, but did it happen? Well, there's a more realistic explanation to the disappearance of these four teens. So there were five boys that were all skin-diving that day. 
The boys had been cramped from skin diving, and they had been blown off a raft during a windstorm into relatively turbulent waters. That is sufficient proof enough as to why these people drown without having to resort to any cryptozoologist explanations, but the boy who survived is the one who recounted the story. He claimed that the kids were killed by a sea monster. The sea monster story sounds like it could be easily attributed to the combination of survivor guilt and traumatic brain injuries that the survivor may have withstood while washing ashore. 1981 Eskimo Curlew Sightings Alright, so this one's just talking about a bird who hasn't been officially seen since 1963, but was spotted in 1981. Uh, that's about it. Monkey Man of Delhi The Monkey Man was an ape-like creature that terrorized the Indian city of New Delhi back in 2001. Apparently a bunch of people were just getting attacked by a four-foot-tall monkey-like creature for no apparent reason. This little creature allegedly had metal armor, like a helmet and a chest plate with glowing buttons, not unlike Darth Vader. People think that this monkey is actually just a smaller version of Bigfoot. Um, apparently, if you shone a light on the Monkey Man, it would ward him off like Foxy in Finance of Freddy's 2. Uh, now, I've got no idea what this creature could have been, but it reminds me of Chewbacca's iconic son, Lumpy. Hanno's Gorilla. Hanno the Navigator was a Carthagian explorer of the 6th or 5th century BC, most famously known for his naval exploration of the western coast of Africa. At the terminus of his voyage, Hanno found an island heavily populated with hirsute and savage people. Hanno attempted to capture several members of the tribes, only succeeding in capturing three females. However, even in captivity, they were so ferocious that they were killed and skinned. These pelts were kept in the Temple of Juno. First recorded as gorillae, they were later recognized as the primate class of gorillas. Trinity Alps Giant Salamander the Trinity Alps Giant Salamander is an alleged giant salamander that is reported to live in Trinity Alps of Northern California. It is often considered as a cryptid, as no specimen has ever been recovered. But the thing is allegedly massive, and would honestly be terrifying to encounter in the wild. Jigioli's Whale Jigioli's Whale is a supposed unknown species of whale that had two dorsal fins. This is not a feature that any known species of whale are known to have. This one feels pretty easy to explain, though. The extra fins could very easily just be a genetic mutation or a tumor that the whale had. Alright, Gravity, take it away. Level 4. Glowing Living Fire Hose. The Glowing Living Fire Hose is a supposed creature that was seen in the Gulf of Mexico on an offshore oil rig during the 1970s, but it was first reported in the year 2000. A scuba diver who helped fix oil rigs claimed that while underwater, he saw a headless, glowing, serpentine creature that had the speed of a race car. This sighting can be chalked up to a hallucination, since these are common among divers who have been diving for long periods of time at around 300 feet beneath the sea. Whether or not it was a hallucination, the man claimed that this sighting disturbed him extremely. Another explanation could be that the man saw a Nemertian worm. The longest specimen ever recorded was at 54 meters, or 177 feet long. S.S. Curanda Giant Jellyfish The S.S. Curanda Giant Jellyfish is a supposed jellyfish that was spotted by the crew of the S.S. Curanda. The captain claimed that the jellyfish had to have been dangling down into the depths by 200 feet and weighed at least 2 tons. While the crew was removing the beast, one of its tendrils leapt up and stung one man, killing him. The slime left on the ship by the jellyfish was later analyzed and identified to belong to the lion's mane jellyfish species, which is the largest species of jellyfish, but haven't been measured up to the claimed size of this particular jellyfish. Despite this, monstrous jellyfish have been spotted throughout history. One story tells of two divers in 1962 when they spotted a jellyfish they claimed to be 150 or 250 feet in diameter. Deep Sea Abominable Snowman after spending an hour researching this entry, I couldn't find anything. I only found articles talking about regular yetis and yeti crabs. I assume this could talk of some hairy white sea creature, but it is unknown. New Zealand Greater Short-Tailed Bat Calls This entry talks about the calls of the greater short-tailed bat that is believed to either be nearly, if not extinct. Despite its current situation, their calls can still be heard throughout New Zealand. Charles Edward Douglas's Raptors Famous explorer Charles Charlie Edward Douglas claimed that in 1899, he shot and ate two birds that he said were raptors. He later wrote that their wingspans went from 9 feet on one of them and 6 feet on the other. Zoologists have speculated that what Charlie shot and ate were now extinct Host's eagles. Baru 
The Baru is a legendary monster that was said to have belonged to a group of fierce crocodiles that lived in a valley where the migrating Apatani wanted to live. After draining the valley and the swamp, these creatures were destroyed, allowing the Apatani to live in the fertile valley. The last known sighting of these creatures was told by a girl who claimed to see one in the valley. The next day, the residents went down to the area and filled it with rocks and clay. Origin of the Kawe Kawe Ao The now extinct Kawe Kawe Ao, or the Delcourt Sticky Toed Gecko, is now an extinct species of lizard in the New Zealand Territory. This lizard, however, is also speculated as the lost giant lizard from Maori legend, Marquesa Swampfin painting. The Marquesa Swampfin was a species of Swampfin that is now extinct. However, a painting in 1902 depicted a Marquesa Swampfin, despite them being extinct. This painting could clue us in that perhaps the animal was alive in the 1900s until finally dying out. Alula Whale the Alula whale is a creature that looks like a brown orca with white star-shaped scars that are believed to have come from fighting giant squids. This beast is apparently 24 feet long and weighs 2 tons. Many speculate that it is a new species of whale, but of course these are merely speculations, and the creature's existence remains unconfirmed. And now, a quick word from today's sponsor. Alright everyone, so I was sent some of the best products I've ever got from any sponsor ever, okay? So, Manscaped came out with a new, amazing, premium line of men's, uh, smelling good products, you know? And these are them! So, shampoo and conditioner, two in one, because we're men, we don't like using separate things. It smells really good. Do you want your boyfriend to use an actually good two in one? Because they won't oh, use anything else. There it is. They all got these nice metal bottles, good for the environment, because we love the environment here. And we got the Manscaped Body Wash. This thing is awesome. Whole body wash, you know. It's, again, it smells really, really good. They're using natural products. It's like vegan. It's good for your skin. And, uh, if yeah, ultra premium cologne scented. So it smells like you're wearing cologne, but it's actually, like, not overwhelming. I used to use this crap here. I thought it was great at the time, but Which looking back on it, it is not. Um, but it's not great. Not great scent. Very plasticky, very, very, you know, synthetic, very red. But this gold. stuff, black and gold, it actually smells really good. Um, you don't even really feel it on, but it's there. Like it'll, it's got a good like kind of sweat protection to it. And it's, it's legit. Um, I'd highly recommend it. Alongside that, we've got hydrating body spray. Yeah, this stuff is awesome. Um, this is really good too, because you can put a bunch of it on. I don't like body spray in general, right? I've tried to use it like uh, certain products, like hatchet body spray, you know what I'm talking about. That stuff isn't great, it's overwhelming, it's it's too much, but- It's a lot. You this ever stuff, smelled a middle school boy? That's what it smells I like. I have not done that, but <laughs> don't do that. This stuff here does not smell like a middle school boy. This mm. smells like a man. Um, and it's also smooth too, you don't really feel it. You spray some on, you're supposed to rub it in, and then you're good for the day because it sticks around too, and it's not overwhelming. Um, it's a really good scent. And if you buy the soul in a package, you'll actually get a free gift being Manscaped Lip Balm. Lip Balm? Yeah. What man do you know wears lip balm now? He does. I do. Can you believe it? A man without chef lips? It's great, they're just these little lip balms. Nice, high quality. <laughs> they're great, love them. So if you want everything you just saw, and more, of course, you can use my code in the description, code Raymundo, for 20% off your entire order, right? Which is pretty good, I'd say. 20% off gets you all of that for a discounted price. It's great. If you want to smell good, and you want to be successful, and you want an emo girlfriend, <laughs> then, yeah, there you go. Uh, my code works with everything on the website, not just this package of stuff here, but you can work with the razors, you can work with the, you know, the, the, the nose trimmers, the ball trimmers, all that stuff. It'll work. It'll be great. So, I would highly suggest, for your own sake, that you go ahead and use my code in the description. Helps me out, of course, but it also helps you out, really, because uh, this is actually for your body. Alright everyone, well, that wraps it up for the cryptid slash weird creatures iceberg. I know the ending might have felt kind of anticlimactic, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. I know I loved making it, it was really cool. 
please go check out Gravity PSI if you liked his uh, narration, which how could you not? Um, he's got so many great videos, you can hear him talk about stuff. Uh, they're creepy, you know, if you like my stuff, you're gonna like his. This video initially performed really, really poorly, and I have no idea why that is. Maybe it's because the thumbnail isn't what you guys are usually used to, or something. Um, but I'm kind of hoping that this compilation video can sort of give it a, a new, a second life, because I feel like this video has got some potential. It's a really cool... I don't know. Maybe I just like it. And if you, uh, if you guys want to see any of my music stuff, uh, I'm in a band if you guys don't know, I've got unlisted videos. If you want to see them, you can just ask in the comments and I will gladly link them. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks again to Gravity PSI. Thanks again to Manscaped. I'll see you all in the next one.